Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. The internet in an uproar over new painting of Donald and Melania Trump. President Trump and First Lady Melania Trump have been doing such an impeccable job in their positions for the past year and a half that artists have begun painting portraits of them. Very good ones too. However, recent paintings released by notoriously conservative painters have been receiving a lot of flack in the media and a lot of support from the president's supporters. Especially because the paintings have been depicting the administration and the president in a positive light. But you have to look at the paintings yourself to determine what your opinion of it is. Faith Family America reported. On Tuesday, patriotic painter John McNaughton shared a new painting on his Twitter page. The painting is based on Washington crossing the Delaware, and it has the internet losing its mind. The Utah-based artist shared the painting, titled Crossing the Swamp. The painting replaces George Washington's crew with members of the Trump administration and puts President Trump in the place of the Founding Father. My new painting, Crossing the Swamp Never Give Up. Never lower your light. Never stop till the swamp is dry, McNaughton tweeted. In the painting, Trump is at the helm while Vice President Mike Pence holds the flag by his side. Naughton identifies the rest as, U.S. Ambassador to the U.N. Nikki Haley, Defense Secretary Jim Mattis, Housing and Urban Development Secretary Ben Carson, Attorney General Jeff Sessions, First Lady Melania Trump, Secretary of State Pompeo, White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders, the President's daughter Ivanka Trump, National Security Advisor Bolton, Kellyanne Conway, and Chief of Staff John Kelly. The painter added on his website, Trump endeavors to cross the swamp of Washington, D.C. as he carries the light of truth, hope, and prosperity. The murky water of the deep state is laced with dangerous vermin, perfectly willing to destroy American prosperity for their personal ideologies and financial gain. McNaughton also wrote that he hoped people will study the paintings and try to understand the deeper meaning. And study they did. The painting quickly got picked apart by Twitter user. People latched onto the more comical aspects of the painting. But there were certainly some supporters. What do you think of the painting? Many of the president's supporters are loyal and have been with him since the very beginning. It makes perfect sense why they would enjoy such good artwork. Ultimately, these are nothing more or less than a private citizen's desire to paint politicians and American citizens that he believes in and wants to represent. If he wants to continue doing this, he has the right to do so. If people do not like his paintings, then they do not have to buy it. Simple as that. This is the United States of America and people have the right to do as they please and the liberal media and the Democratic Party does not have a right to tell anyone what they can and cannot paint. While ABC News reported. Over 240 years ago George Washington suffered through Valley Forge and crossed the Delaware River to bring an astonishing victory to the Continental Army, McNaughton wrote in his description of the painting. This led to what many thought was impossible, to defeat a despot king and his formidable army. Today. Trump endeavors to cross the swamp of Washington, D.C., as he carries the light of truth, hope, and prosperity. Trump has long decried Washington, D.C.'s so-called swamp at campaign rallies and in speeches. It is time to drain the swamp in Washington, D.C., Trump said at a Wisconsin campaign rally in October, 2016. McNaughton told ABC News that Trump's phrase of draining the swamp was on his mind when painting, but did not think it would suit the depiction. The idea of draining the swamp is something I've been thinking about but you know to me realistically you're not going to drain the swamp in a term of a president, McNaughton said. This is a process that could take a generation so instead of draining the swamp it made more sense to me to make something crossing the swamp. Further on in McNaughton's description of the painting, the artist argues that the murky water of D.C. is subject to dangerous vermin, perfectly willing to destroy American prosperity for their personal ideologies and financial gain. McNaughton defines these vermin as establishment Democrats, never Trump or Republicans, the deep state, and the fake news media. The country is really divided on this, obviously I get a lot of kickback from the left and a lot of support from the right, McNaughton said. One of the ways I can normally gauge how well a painting is doing is how much kickback I get from the left. They're usually most vocal at first, but it's been a real positive experience with this painting. Things are looking good. McNaughton's artwork is diverse. His focus is primarily on patriotic and religious landscapes as well as interactive work as well. His artwork focuses primarily on well-known historical figures in American history. For his political work, over the past few years, it has primarily focused on President Trump. Several of his paintings include him with an American flag, at historical landmarks, with Robert Mueller who is conducting the independent investigation into Russian collusion in the 2016 presidential election just to name a few.
It is clear that McNaughton's work focuses on a love for America. To purchase his paintings as well as take a look at his finished materials visit his website at www.joanmcnaughton.com. His work ranges in price from just a few hundred dollars to a few thousand. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.